This is Tom Perpetua here with UT Permian Basin Athletics. I'm joined today with head men's basketball coach Josh Newman. Uh, coach, heading into your third year here, uh, how do you feel about the team this time around? You know, we're excited. Uh, we love our recruiting class. Uh, the guys that came back were from last year. Uh, we're excited about their leadership, uh, the foundation that we created, but we're extremely excited about the balanced recruiting class, the talent, and the type of young man that we were able to add to our program. Uh, one of the big returners you get back is uh, Jordan Horn's going to be healthy, and you got Adam Rivera there. Talk about just what having them, you know, to keep the lineup steady this year. Yeah, you know, unfortunately last year we lost Jordan after Game Six, and uh, at that time we were actually eleven and two, and, and I liked where our team was progressing. Uh, unfortunately, when we lost Jordan, we don't. Not only do we lose a fantastic player, uh, but we also lost our leader, uh, and I thought that that really kind of took us off the tracks a little bit, maybe derailed us. Uh, we had to kind of re-identify ourselves. And so if Jordan Horn play, plays last year, it's a completely different season for us. But uh, it, those are the things that happen. And, you know, injuries are a part of the game, so we had to adjust. And uh, I'm super excited for him to get back on the floor. Uh, I think he brings a tremendous amount of uh, character, leadership, uh, as well as he's, he's going to be one of the better players in the league as well. Uh, something that you went out and I guess focused on in the recruiting class was freshmen and you got three really good ones. Uh, how do you feel about them heading into the season? I'm excited. You know, uh, I would probably tell you we got four really good ones. <laughs> and then we got a young man that's a walk and that's a really good freshman as well. So, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, what success looks like. Uh, and it's, success takes time. It's not one of those things where it's instant. And we felt like we needed to get back to our roots a little bit, recruit very talented young kids that can grow in our program, uh, add the right amount of transfers, uh, but kind of give us some balance. And I think we did that. Uh, we identified a need for our program. Uh, we're super excited about the, the freshmen and their future, uh, as well as the transfers that we had. We figure, out, we, we figure we have a tremendously balanced team um, in a lot of positive ways. Uh, one of the things that you uh, touched on too was um, balance and one of the parts that's getting bigger. You definitely have some size of the team this uh, season. Yeah, we're bigger at the guard position for sure. I'm not so sure at the at the four and the five spot, uh, but you know, Dedutro is, is a young man that's got some considerable size uh, at six nine. He's going to be able to alter shots and block shots. Uh, but our guards and our wings are pretty good uh, in terms of their size, uh, not only with their their physical size in terms of height, but also with their physical girth. Uh, we're going to look like a team that's been spent a lot of time at the buffet line at Golden Corral or, or Furs or anywhere else you can think. So we're excited about that. Uh, I think that physicality is going to allow us to play uh, different than we have in the past. Um, but I, I'm excited about the physical the phys the physical ability that our guys bring to the table right now. Um, so in your two years here, you've uh, reached the Lone Star Conference playoffs. Uh, the poll released has us uh, eighth, which puts us in the playoffs. Uh, once again, what's it going to take to, um, you know, reach the conference postseason and potentially further? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't mind being completely honest. You know, we, we've been disappointed a little bit the last two years. And, and, yes, we've made the conference tournament, and that's our expectation for sure. Uh, you know, our other goals are to be in the hunt for a conference championship as well as an NCAA tournament at large berth. Uh, that's our expectations. Those are our goals. And I thought we'd actually – uh, really taking a step in that direction in year two, but unfortunately with with Jordan Horn getting hurt uh, and a couple of key injuries late, uh, we just weren't the same team that we were when we started that season. So we got to keep those things in perspective. Uh, make the postseason play each year is honestly a successful thing, but we want to continue to take the next step. Uh, and we want to be a team that's a perennial top five, top three team in this league. Uh, and I think we've taken those steps. And, and hopefully if we can stay healthy, uh, then we're going to see if, uh, if we can be that team. Uh, speaking of health, obviously COVID-19 is a big thing. Um, what's it going to take for you? What are your, what's the team doing to uh, prevent you know outbreaks amongst the team or it's just stay healthy? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we talk to these guys about control what you can control. Uh, you can control where you go. We can control who you're around. We can control the amount of time that you spend interacting with other people. Uh, you know, there's going to be some situations where guys – uh, they come down with, with a positive test and, and you ask them, hey, what'd you do? And, and they might really not know. They might have went to the gas station. They might have went to the grocery store. Uh, you know, there's no, 
there's no rhyme or reason sometimes. Uh, but what we do know, we don't want to put ourselves in a situation where it could be a super spreader or, or where there's knowingly a lot of people gathering. And we're going to avoid those situations. And, and to our guys' credit, they've done that to this point. And I'm very proud of them. Uh, we're asking these young men and these young women in college athletics to sacrifice a tremendous amount. Um, but they're willing to do that because they want to be on the floor. They want to participate and they want to play the games. And so they're willing to sacrifice some of those off the floor behaviors and off the floor activities uh, to try to give us uh, hope that we're going to play the season and hopefully play as many games as possible. Uh, what have you seen that's impressed you the most out of your team so far that, um, in camp? Well, it's a little challenging because we haven't had our group together as a, as a collective group outside of maybe two or three days. Uh, and I know every team's got their challenges. Every team is fighting COVID. Every team is going through contact tracing. So we, we're, not, we're, not, we're not unique. Um, but it's, it's something that we do need to address is our team just hasn't had the chance uh, to really be together. Um, and honestly, it's, it's, we're, we're looking forward to our first exhibition game so we can actually play a true five-on-five. Five. Uh, we're currently practicing with managers and assistant coaches, but, you know, we've got to do what we have to do. Uh, and our kids are, their attitude's been great. Uh, that's the one thing that I do like. Uh, their approach has been good. And their response to challenges has been really good um, because this is challenging. And, and every day it feels like there's a curveball or a knuckleball or we've got to pivot or we've got to be flexible. And, and our kids, their attitude has been fantastic, and that's the key for me. And then lastly, what are you looking forward to most this season? You know, I'm playing. You know, uh, that's the biggest thing is we know there's so many challenges, uh, and it can be taken at any given time, from a positive test to a breakout in your community to the cross the country. And we just want to appreciate and value every opportunity. And, and not just playing in the games, but having the chance to practice, uh, spending that time together. Um, because we are asking people to be so separate and, and isolated. So when we do come together, appreciate that time and appreciate the opportunity we have to, to grow uh, as a team, and as individuals, and, and hopefully make the most out of the situation.